Good morning, everyone. Let's get right into the Word of God. So today we're going to be reading Numbers chapter 36. And the chief fathers of the families of the children of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, and of the families of the sons of Joseph, came near and spake before Moses and before the princes, the chief fathers of the children of Israel. And they said, The Lord commanded my Lord to give the land for an inheritance by the lot of the children of Israel. And my Lord was commanded um, by the Lord to give the inheritance of Zelophead over brother unto his daughters. And if they be married to any of the sons of the other tribes of the children of Israel, then shall their inheritance be taken from the inheritance of our fathers, and shall be put in the inheritance of the tribe whereunto they are received. So shall it be taken from the lot of our inheritance. And when the jubilee of the children of Israel shall be, then shall their inheritance be put into the inheritance of the tribe whereunto they are received. So shall their inheritance be taken away from the inheritance of the tribe of our fathers. And Moses commanded the children of Israel, according to the word of the Lord, saying, The tribe of the sons of Joseph hath said well. This is the thing which the Lord doth command concerning the daughters of Zilipheed, saying, Let them marry to whom they think best. Only the family of the tribe of their fathers shall they marry. So shall not the inheritance of the children of Israel remove from the tribe to tribe. For every one of the children of Israel shall keep himself to the inheritance of the tribe of his fathers. And every daughter that possesseth, or possesseth an inheritance of any tribe of the children of Israel shall be wife unto one of the family of the tribe of her father, that the children of Israel may enjoy every man the inheritance of his fathers. Neither shall the inheritance remove from one tribe to another tribe, but every one of the tribes of the children of Israel shall keep himself to his own inheritance. Even as the Lord commanded Moses, so did the daughters of Zelophead. For Amala, Terza, Hogla, Milka, and Noah, and the daughters of Zelophead, were married unto their fathers, brothers, sons. And they were married unto the families of the sons of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, and their inheritance remained in the tribe of the family of their father. These are the commandments and the judgments which the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses unto the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. And that is the end of Numbers chapter 36. As a summary of Numbers chapter 36, Inheritance by Marriage. And if you remember back in, I believe it was Numbers chapter 27, the daughters of Zilphahad had say, "Hey, what if he has no son? You know, our father has no sons. You know what? What shall happen to the inheritance? Right?" And God says, "Yes, it shall pass to the daughter." Well, now the men are bringing up something to where, if she goes and marries outside the tribe, that inheritance leaves the tribe. So. If she's the only child, she's to marry within the tribe, basically. And that's really what's going on here. So, and it's basically the men just saying, Hey, what if she leaves and goes and marries outside the tribe? That inheritance is going to be the other tribes, right? They're going to miss out on that. So, of course, God commanded, you know basically she married within the tribe and all that but anyways i hope you guys were edified and you guys have a wonderful day